Next we have our layer four. Now our layer four is our transport layer and it's going to provide us with management control. Uh, management and control. It's going to also help us to transfer data. Now our layer four, we don't want to confuse with our layer five, our session layer. Our layer five provides more control over communication as far as uh, who can talk when and uh, it's, it allows us to be able to send and receive messages without those uh, messages conflicting or those messages starting to get jarbled because we have multiple people talking at the same time. That's our layer five. Our layer four is going to manage and control the data uh, the pack and the data packets that we're focused on, the ones that we're sending or that we're receiving. It's going to manage those packets. Um, our layer four, our transport layer, um, it's going to help split our communications into different packages and it's going to do this by using one of two different protocols. It's going to either use TCP or UDP. Uh, now TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol and we'll, we've talked about uh, these a little bit more in, or quite a bit more in depth as far as their exact details and certain frame sizes in some of our other modules but our TCP and UDP in a nutshell provide for um, either no verification of delivery or verification of delivery, receipt or no receipt. Um, if we think about TCP versus UDP and we go back to our model, shipping model here, um, TCP is going to be as if our, uh, our manufacturer here sent our package through verified mail, sent it through mail that requires our signature and requires them to get back a receipt on delivery. A UDP is like if they dropped it in the mail and they didn't put a tracking code on it, there was no, there was no tracking, there was no way for them to make sure that it got to us. Uh, that's our difference between TCP and UDP. Now our different protocols either perform on TCP or UDP. Uh, we'll talk about our different protocols later such as HTTP, uh, HTTPS, SSH, uh, Secure Shell, SSL, uh, Secure Socket Layer. Uh, these are additional protocols but all of our protocols are either TCP or UDP based. Um, these are going to be th our basis for uh, packaging up our data. These are going to be our basis for communications and it's what's going to uh, transfer and manage our data and make sure that we're sending the packages in the right way. Um, if we took, we can't take all of our data and just send it all in one giant packet. Uh, our data isn't, uh, won't be manageable, our, our networks can't manage that. Uh, it would be very hard if we tried to send a one gig, uh, like say a one gig or two gig uh, transfer of data from one computer to another and just tried to package it all in one packet. There's a very good chance that that could be corrupted, there's a very good chance that um, well, all, none of our devices would support a packet size that large. So we essentially break down our files that we're sending into these smaller packets that have different size limits. And TCP and UDP have their own different size limits and they have different uh, parts to them that help to manage if they're getting receipt or not. And they also manage whether, uh, what order they're being reassembled and to make sure that they're being reassembled properly. Um, our layer four, our transport layer, uh, provides management and control um, because they're using TCP or because they help they're managing TCP or UDP. Uh, TCP uh, also provides uh, making uh, an ability to make sure that packets are uh, ordered in a proper way. TCP helps to allow for retransmission of packets if they're bad. Um, whereas UDP is going to be again uh, a, mes a method of sending information, a method of sending these packages where it's just going to stream them. Now you may be thinking, well why would I want to send UDP then? If there's no verification, I would always want to send everything TCP, right? Uh, do I have control over that? Can I switch to send everything TCP on my computer communications? Well, not really. TCP and UDP um, have their functions and there are times when you would want to use UDP and there are some and there are a lot of protocols uh, and we can't really go on our computer and manage what our protocols send over TCP or UDP um, but there are ways that we can manage that in our other in our other settings such as what protocols we're using when we're sending information. Um, UDP would be used for things like when we're streaming video or when we are making a Skype or a VoIP call. When we're making a call using Skype and we're streaming that data, 
we want it to be streaming over UDP. Because if we're using TCP, um, that data is already requiring a lot of bandwidth. We want to get the fastest response time possible. We don't want it to be choppy. We don't want it to be really fragmented. So we just, our computer just says, I'm just going to push this. And I'm not going to verify before I send the next packet like TCP does. Because if I'm, if I'm streaming a video with Skype or I'm um, making a phone call with VoIP and I'm sending these packages, I don't want my computer to send a little chunk and then wait until my, the other computer says it received it, send another little chunk, wait for my computer to say it received it, because then I'm going to have a very, very choppy conversation with somebody over Skype. UDP is just going to say, I've got this and it has to get out. Our factory is on, you know, we have a product that is just flying off the shelves. We don't have time to have someone sit there and do all these tracking codes and make sure all the packages get to each individual house. We just need to put things on the truck and send them. And maybe one or two people don't get a package uh, with UDP. Maybe I miss a packet or two and there's a little bit of fuzziness or there's a little bit of choppiness in the video. But it's a lot less than if I had to sit here and wait for a uh, respond back, a receipt that says that I got this. So UDP is just going to send and send and send and send and send. So the layer four, uh, layer four is going to manage uh, manage how we do that. It's going to manage if we're sending TCP or UDP, if we need to wait for a receipt, or if we need to just send and send and send and send and send. Um, all of this is negotiated. All of our, uh, if we're sending over TCP or UDP, is negotiated based on the protocol that we're using, based on our later la levels. So uh, we just want to keep in mind our big names here for layer four are TCP and UDP. Uh, it's going to be management and control uh, and splitting communications into different packages.